what up guys bass drop keys your friendly neighborhood negro and a rookie mycologist i want to welcome you all to my brand new mushroom youtube channel now if you're watching this that means that you probably know me from being in the cannabis community but now what i want to do is i want to teach myself how to grow mushrooms so everything that you're going to watch on this channel is me doing it for the very first time I've never grown mushrooms a day in my life. I've only taken mushrooms three times in my life, but I've been trying to teach myself the past six months on how to do everything. And now I think it's about time for me to jump in and give it a go. So I wanna thank you guys for joining the journey with me. All this channel is, is one person's journey to try to teach themselves how to grow mushrooms. In today's video, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to inoculate this all-in-one mushroom grow bag. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm cleaning my work area with 70% isopropyl alcohol. The reason why you wanna use 70% and not a stronger one is because the stronger ones will evaporate off of the surface too fast. With the 70%, it stays on long enough so that we can actually clean everything and make everything sterile or disinfect it. With the all-in-one mushroom bags, you can actually colonize your mycelium. And then when that is complete, you can actually fruit your mushrooms right in this bag if you want to, or you can put it in a mono tub or however you want to do it. But with this all in one grow bag, you can do everything right inside this bag if you want to. I figured since this is my first time doing it, that this will be a good place to start. If you want to use the same all in one grow bag that I'm using, I'll put the link in the description for you. What I'm doing now to make sure we don't get any contamination is I'm taking the isopropyl alcohol and I'm spraying it on a paper towel and I'm cleaning the injection port on the bag and the bag. I'm also wiping down the syringe itself, the needle pack, and I have some micro pore tape right there. It's very important that you make sure that everything is as clean as can be. Now for this video, I'm not using a steel air box, but I will be making one on the channel. Also, I will be getting a flow hood, but I figure since this is the very first piece of content that I'm doing, it's best to show you my growth. So this first video is no steel air box, no flow hood, just using the isopurple to make sure everything is disinfected. Now right there, what you saw me do is you saw me shake up the syringe. What I have here is a spore syringe. Now you can use a liquid culture if you want to. It will actually colonize faster if you use a liquid culture, but I'm using a spore syringe this time. Sometimes in the spore syringe, you can see that the spores are clumped up inside the syringe. And what you want to do is you just want to shake it vigorously. That way it'll unclump for you. So that's why you saw me shaking up the syringe to make sure all the spores were unclumped. Now I can already hear the question that you guys are going to be asking me, yo keys, where did you get the spores from? Well, I don't know how YouTube feels about that. So let me take this time to invite you guys to my Instagram. If you come follow me on Instagram at the rookie mycologist, I will give you six sites that I've already ordered from that I know 100% is legit and any kind of spores that you're looking for, whether it's medicinal or gourmet, they have them right there available for you. Right here, what you see me doing is, you see me putting on the needle. There's always gonna be a sterile needle that comes with each syringe whenever you purchase it. And you saw the way that I put the needle on the syringe. I made sure that I didn't even touch the cap at all. Whenever you open up the needle, it's gonna be sterile, so the first time that you use it, you don't have to worry about flame torching it or anything like that. You can see that I punctured the injection port, and I put all 10 cc's inside the injection port. I put it in one spot. Now, I know a lot of you probably, when you inoculate your grain, you probably put your liquid culture or your spore syringe in different places through the injection port. I got this grow bag through Mushroom Supplies and in their instructions, they said to put all your liquid culture or your spore syringe in one place so that way the reproductive cells are near each other. It's their grow bag, so I'm gonna follow their instructions. Once I inject all 10 C's inside the bag, I'm gonna put the safety cap back on it to make sure I don't puncture myself by accident. Then I'm gonna put micro pore tape over the injection port to make sure no contamination gets in that little hole we just made. Now, while we're waiting for the mycelium to start growing, they recommend putting the bag someplace that is in between 70 and 78 degrees Fahrenheit 
that gets no direct sunlight. You also want to put it somewhere that's at least waist height. So that way you don't have any contaminants or anything from the floor messing with your growth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bin right here. This is going to be my incubation box and I'm putting it on a shelf close by a bunch of grow tents. So that way the warmth from the grow tents can help keep them in the temperature parameters that we're looking for. Now, before I get out of here, you guys have probably noticed the sweet shirt that I'm wearing. This is the rookie all over shirt. If you want to support me and the channel, come over and check out the merch website, the rookie I have some great shirt designs, mugs, hoodies, slides, stickers, and I'm adding new stuff all the time. Also, if you're feeling my logo, I will put the artist that did it in the description box. You can hit them up and get one for yourself. I really appreciate all of you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Rookie out.